Hi, my name is Joey Galan, and I am a resident here of Las Vegas, Nevada, the city that never sleeps. I love this city. This city is about bling and fun and flash, and it's a perfect city and perfect creative environment for me to be able to start and showcase an evening gown line, a line that is my passion, my favorite, that showcases a lot of bling because I cater to the pageant industry. I grew up glued to the TV as a kid, watching every year Miss USA, Miss America, and Miss Universe, and my most favorite time of the, the pageant was the evening gown competition, because the most amazing gowns, the most amazing styles and fashions would come on stage, and designers from all over the world would be featured. I remember thinking one day, I'll be one of those designers, and I'll have my gowns up on stage one day, and televised, hopefully, internationally. I live here in Las Vegas, I, as I said, uh, from San Francisco originally. When I started design, it was kind of a fluke, actually. My sister was running in pageants, and my family, just as we do for all of, each, all of our family members, is support each other in whatever way we can. I started sketching on a napkin a couple of design ideas for my sister's evening gowns, and somebody noticed that, and they suggested that I go to design school. So I went to San Francisco State. I got my bachelor's degree in fashion and textile design, in my last year of college, I was able to intern at a, an amazing department store called iMagnet. It was one of the best stores of its time with the most incredible fashions. I was able to learn how to uh, produce fashion shows, hire models, style collections, and I did every aspect of fashion show production you can even think of. And more importantly, I was able to work with some of the most phenomenal world-renowned designers, such as Hubert de Givenchy, Chanel. Carolina Herrera, Oscar de la Renta, Bob Mackey, the launch of Terry Mugler, and so many more. And then when I graduated college, I continued to do a lot of fashion events with iMagnet and a lot of world-renowned designers. And then I eventually moved to Southern California, working with Neiman Marcus, working with Armani, doing the opening of the Boutique for Escada. So I've always had these amazing fashion influences that have influenced my style and the direction that I take when I design. My most favorite designs and direction are evening gowns. And I take a gown that is designed specifically for a client that fits them, where they can feel good, that showcases their best assets, and more importantly, that fits their personality. Let me show you some of my gowns. This particular gown I designed for a client that I met last year. She had never been in any pageants before. She was the, representing Philippines in the national pageant Miss Asia USA. The way I like to design is really designed based on the woman's personality. Of course, enhancing their body, whatever their best assets are, and featuring them based on the silhouette of the gown. But really what I think is most important is matching their personality. Because when I'm done designing a gown, when they wear the gown, they're empowered, inspired, and they feel really good in that piece that was designed specifically for them. It's much more personal that way to approach design in that perspective. I found these fabrics, I hand, hand attached all of the Swarovski crystals. It's all completely sequined with hibiscus lavender sequences. And then I also had hand dyed these bleached ostrich plumes and then dyed them into lavender to match the overall fabric. One of the things that you don't see, the bling factor on this gown, is that there is another layer of white clear sequins behind the flowers. So on stage, the lights really hit it and this dress comes alive. One of my favorite pieces, an award-winning piece, and the great thing is the girl that wore it won the crown that year in her pageant. This white gown was one of my most ultimate favorites as well. I have so many favorites, they're like my babies. Because I know how much time I put into it and the craftsmanship, and then more importantly, the client that I designed it for. This specific gown was designed for a Miss Cuba who wore this in an international pageant in Malaysia. So I can honestly say that my gowns now have become international because they were competed and utilized in a foreign country in an international pageant. That is my ultimate dream, is to have my gowns on all of the major pageant stages around the world. This particular gown is made of flat back white sequins, formulating these amazing rosettes. I hand attached all of the Swarovski crystals on this gown. 
including the ostrich plumes at the base. What you don't see on this gown is there is another layer of clear sequins underneath it, such that when the lights hit this gown, it really reflects and bounces off so much light and comes alive. There's also a nude flesh tone colored lining underneath so that when it is worn on the girl, it almost appears as if she's nude underneath. But this gown really was a showstopper. It got amazing accolades and recognition. And I'm proud to say this gown made it to the international circuit. So a little bit about my personality. I think one of the questions was, what would my best friend tell, uh, share about me? And I think most of my friends can attest that I'm very people-oriented. I love people. I love connecting with people of all walks of life and every age possible, and really just hopefully creating a comfortable relationship and comfortable friendship, and hopefully um, making a positive difference in their lives some way, somehow. I just love people and because of that it's influenced the way I design. I design and get to know my customers and design based on their personalities and also their likes, their interests and also their dislikes and I try to design best on their personality and of course showcasing their best assets physically. When I design I have in my mind already what I want to create for that particular customer. Since it's been so many years out of design school and I'm a little rusty on the sewing and the the, the, the sketching and, and also the pattern making so I have teams make that for me and I execute and manage the teams and communicate everything that I want done in that particular piece and my teams execute and make it for me and we edit and recreate and add to or take away but I manage all of my crews to make all of my pieces. One day I'd love to get my line mass produced so that I can have a lot of gowns, uh, a lot of teams and also be able to drop my price rates as well because right now everything is custom done and it does take a lot of labor and I look forward to be able to get, get it to a level where I can mass produce a lot of my gowns and have a manufacturer uh, make my gowns um, at some way somehow. Let's see, some of the biggest critiques I'm supposed to answer about my personality. I'm not really sure of any critiques negatively other than I do know that I took a little bit of a diversion in my career as much as I love fashion and right out of college was working with fashion, I started producing fashion shows and that led into producing other events and as a matter of fact producing movie premiere events in Los Angeles and from there it was all movie premieres and corporate events from that point on and I totally veered away from fashion. So at some point in the middle point of my career, about nine years into the events career, just realize that, you know, it's probably too late to be a designer. I should have done it when I was out of college. You know, that shoulda, woulda, coulda. And I caught myself thinking that way. And it's like, you know, I don't ever want to do that. I don't ever want to say I wished I would have. So fast forward 18 years later, uh, out of an events career, and starting with last year, a friend of mine had suggested, you know what, Joey, you should do your clothing line. And you know what, even till this day, I have always wanted to do that. And that is the one big goal that I had not accomplished for myself. I pretty much set out whatever I said I'd do, I can accomplish with other goals and areas of my life. But this particular goal has got to be one of the biggest, one of my biggest dreams, one of the things that I envisioned as a young child, and that I will definitely fulfill. I not only want to inspire and, and make a difference and say, yes, I did it for myself, but I also want to inspire others that, you know what? Don't shelve your dreams away. Don't trash them because there is no limit. And I want to be that proof to showcase that, hey, you know what, dreams, no matter what, can be a reality. And I am darn going to make this happen. So look out, world. Joey Galant Atelier is just about to launch, and I will definitely make this happen.